Posted Gloves here. This is the fifth sounds like video. And today I'm going to teach you how to make this ARP sound right here. Uh, it could also be used for melodies and things. This is a small, just sort of track I just started working on and kind of let it take me where I want it to go. So I'm playing. <laughs> So uh, there's that and I still I could layer in a lot more things and I definitely am looking at the strings. I feel like there needs to be some sort of backbone rhythmic idea going on because it was just so atmospheric and the strings adding that sort of rhythm. I feel like it's a little off. I don't know. Uh, I was thinking about adding a kick here but then I think I could build up right here throw the kick in here and have some sort of percussive hits like you know like those background sort of wispy things to add atmosphere. I don't know. There's like a million things you could do with something like this. It's so atmospheric. But anyways, this sound, you'll notice it starts off just kind of bare. Um, I'm automating the reverb in the modulation of uh, the D on and off. And uh, as it comes in, you'll hear the reverb things come in because D will turn on. And D has this crazy envelope that brings on all these sort of, brings on this background whoosh. Like every time you let go of a key, the volume will spike one more time, creating this sort of echoey effect. And it's at the, it's got a curve so that it kind of wisps in and then whips right back out. So that is how that works. And it's on the release of the loop. And let's actually look at the patch more closely now. So we have an ARP going on. And for the ARP, we'll start with the ARP. Uh, it's literally, I had my sound, so with it off, I have my sound, I turn the ARP on, I hit random on no order and octave. If you do not know what I'm talking about right now, go watch my FM8 from the ground up tutorial series and you can figure out what I'm saying. Because I'm not gonna uh, explain what everything does in like detail if I covered it there. So that is what that is. So let's turn the ARP. Let's actually just make the patch. Let's just do that. That makes life easier. So, um, and I wanted a pluck. And so what I did was I, I, I already like sine waves so much. So what I wound up doing was just making this into a pluck envelope. And I knew I wanted it to sound atmospheric. I knew I was going for that. And so I added E and FM'd it just a little bit. And I thought I could do some cool things with that, but I wound up just leaving it small and I FM'd it a little bit more by F. And it gives it that sort of more of a bell-like texture. And if you, and I already knew I was going to put a lot of reverb on it. I was just going to drench it in reverb. So I knew it was going to sound kind of atmospheric. Then I wanted something else to come out. So I turned D on and routed D out. And I wanted D to have a different kind of effect. And so I made it a pluck and I messed around with the volume coming down really fast, but that wasn't quite doing what I wanted. And I turned on the tempo sync. And from there, uh, I started doing something like this. I said, what if it loops up and down like this? 
I said, wow, that sounds pretty nice. Now, what if I added a reverb tail? So what if I went like this off through the loop point and brought my reverb to go up? Actually, you need one more, otherwise it'll click. And I wanted it to land on a beat of some kind. It wasn't super important what beat, but what if it did something like this? And I want that more. That way it doesn't click right here. And you see we're getting our sound. And then I started just FMing small stuff to emulate what was going on down here. And I actually took F and put it into C just for the heck of it. And that's pretty much the patch. Um, then, of course, I went over to the arpeggiator and I did something like that and turned it on. And I got that sort of really bell like sort of glockenspiel with a bow on it type deal. And I came over here, I found reverb. And I said, wow, now all I need to do is start making transitions. So I clicked and I automated this guy and I came over here and automated this guy on and off. And it's, it's somewhere along the lines. You kind of FMing, FMing's really like kind of up to you because small adjustments can make such drastic changes, especially if you go above 50 on anything. And each one of these sort of adds its own thing to the mix. Uh, I don't believe I changed any ratios. Oh, I changed ease ratio just a little bit and it adds, the difference is almost not there, but if you were on my, while I was creating it, I did this early on and there was a hearable difference that I could hear. So it sort of added to the texture. I'm not sure if it really contributes now, but I did do that. Uh, and that's pretty much the sound. On the reverb, I believe I turned the brightness and the time up to just to sort of, just to give it that extra sparkle. The rest of it was just um, arranging. So as it turns on, so this is the D is off. So our loop, our loop, uh, operator that's coming out is off so you just get the art and then you hear this whoosh of the of the D come in and it's important to note that the envelopes the release and the attack on this guy is yeah it looks a little different but on this guy, there are two different angles so that the release sounds different than the loop, which is really important because I'm sustaining notes right here. And uh, yeah, so I picked my chords and over here I introduced strings and had a sort of a string come in on a filter. And I had, uh, I threw down these bass notes and the ARP, which I don't really, you don't really hear until you get to this point. If I play it for you, you will understand. Let's see, there is the bass. And you might be saying, why did the bass pop up there, but not over here? Well, our ARP and the way the octave setting work in selecting notes, just because we hit it all randomly, uh, caused it so that I have the correct amount of notes in this chord for this G to be included versus this one, not so. And I don't know about this one. Yep. And that one. So it all depends on what happens when you hit random on your ARP. But as you can see, it's uh, it sounds really nice, really atmospheric. If you have any questions about this, drop them in the comments. Um, subscribe. And check out my music on this YouTube channel. Share this video with someone you think who would appreciate it. And have a blessed day. I reflect on the right, I reflect on my mind, I don't regret anything that cause my soul to sing, I don't regret growing wings and taking people things. I reflect on my life, I reflect on
on the track. 